Selena with Queen Yakuns. I am going to demonstrate the breeze box for you guys. Um, welcome to our home. This is our, our living area where we had the kittens for a few weeks in their box right over here and now we have them in a front TV room so it's easier to let them out and run around. Anyhow, let's get started. I don't want it to be too long. So when you get your box, it will look like this. The products that will come in it are the breeze pads, the breeze litter, um, an instruction manual that's not too important, and the scooper, which is very important because a normal scooper will not work. The pellets will not fall through. So as you can see, these are um, bigger gaps on it, so it makes for um, a nice fall through. Okay, so there will be multiple items. Here is your top, here's your funnel pad, or your funnel pan, and then here's the bottom base. So the first thing you need to do is get your bottom base. It also has a drawer, don't worry about the drawer. It's made to fit the breeze box pad. But what happens is when the pellet system falls through, it won't just fall on the breeze pad. So it creates a mess. Um, and it, there's too much fall through. So if you pull out the drawer, it doesn't work. So the pads that I had, you guys get, looks like this. Simply what we do is put it in the base. I tuck in the edges so we have as much of the pad inside the box, even if it's crinkled up a little bit, that's okay. I get the edges sorted out as much as possible, kind of flatten it out. And it kind of goes in just something like that. Then just to use up the breeze pads, once they're used up with the ones that came, I don't rebuy them, but I wouldn't want to waste it. I just stick it in the bottom like this, and all it does is it gives you a little bit more um, time to use the pad system that's already located in inside the pan. Once the pads are in there, that's all you put on the bottom. Now you get your tray that goes in, just like that. It just sets in, super simple. And then here's your cover that will go on the outside. It, it locks on the sides, which is nice because the cats can knock it off. So if you make sure it locks, it's better. Then what I do is I take my breeze litter that I will never buy again, but because it came with it, you want to use it up. So all I do is stick it in a tote um, with a 40 pound bag or two, either way, whatever you want to do, of the pine um, bedding pellets like what I have right here. So, as you can see, I just bought two new of the extra large breeze boxes because my males have gotten too big for this size. So at some point in time, probably at a year or two when your cats are bigger and this is kind of a small space for them, then you're gonna wanna also get the additional extra large box. It works the same way other than you put two pads on the bottom side by side. So then you take your, your pine pellet. I do about two scoopers. This is a scooper that you can get at track anywhere, but you can use any scooper. For the kittens, they don't need a ton of litter because um, they don't dig super deep. So just about two scoops in the box is all you need. And it's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna go and grab the kitten box that they've been using to show you what it looks like when you get to the point of cleaning.